everybody, it's Biggie again. I'm bringing you this uh, Citizen EcoZilla, and it's a uh, model number BJ8040 01E. That's the full titanium case watch. And this watch is really, really special to me. This is in my core collection. It also happens to be my favorite dive watch. Not my everyday dive watch, but it still is my favorite dive watch that the one dive watch I wouldn't uh, part with. This model was out of production and it has some very unique features to it. And this model was also, I upgraded it with a supper parts uh, Zilla bracelet. Now, supper parts. I'll leave a link to their website. You can buy these Zilla bracelets and it comes with uh, the end links and a solid end link and all screw end links and it comes with everything that you need to, to put this on either a steel uh, EcoZilla or a titanium EcoZilla. But I'm going to be honest with you, if you don't have the titanium EcoZilla, it's really not worth it. But if you have the titanium Egozilla, it puts it over the top. Now, this bracelet is full titanium, and this is the Generation 2 bracelet. Um, you see it doesn't have the round buttons on there like the Gen 1. And I'll put a picture of the Gen 1 right next to it so you can see it. You can see the difference. This is the Gen 2 on the left and the gen 1 on the right and these buttons are different but the main difference between them both is that the gen 1 with the round buttons that is stainless steel that's not titanium this one is titanium the buttons are titanium the bracelet is full titanium the lugs are titanium and this is the most rugged bracelet I've ever encountered for any watch at any price this watch is like a ship's anchor now if you look close at it you'll see that there's no pins and sleeves here you have screw bars see that and then each link is screwed in and that's double screwed in not single screw. So you need two screwdrivers, one on each side and turning them opposite of each other or towards each other to get it out. So it is kind of a pain in the size because you need two screwdrivers and maybe a, a, a helping set of hands. But once you get it sized, um, it's, it's like no other. This watch is ultra light because of the titanium bracelet and titanium case titanium bezel and this bezel does come off for ease of cleaning and if you look at the back now let me open the clasp up it's all grade 5 titanium also as it should be for a bracelet that costs 300 bucks but if you look at the back this back plate is also titanium you see that it's titanium and right here under the diver's helmet If you look right here in this little box, it has some letters. Some of them will have that, some of them won't. And that just tells you that it has a removable uh, bezel for cleaning, which is pretty cool. It comes with a screw down crown. It has a six millimeter thick um, anti-reflected coated mineral crystal. Now, another thing about this watch that no one's revealed is that this even even though it's a mineral crystal this is sapphire the pip on here is sapphire that's a sapphire pip um, covering that uh, dive pip up now it has a 60 click bezel and since it's titanium on titanium you get a muted sound but it's still a positive bezel and you can turn it with one hand or two hands like this there's no backlash on this either 
and of course citizen lines up perfectly now it has a rehaul and it and the movement sits down in there deep because of how thick the crystal is and you need that crystal because this is a saturation diver and let's look on the back again you'll see it it says it uh, for mixed for mixed uh, gas diving it says that right on there for mixed gas diving so that's pretty neat and I got rid of all my other saturation divers and that would have been both of my Seiko tunas. I had the Seiko Tuna Platinum. I sold that. And I had the uh, SBBN 033. I also sold that. Mainly because the, S the Platinum one wasn't balanced. It wasn't really balanced. Really nice watch. It wasn't really balanced. And although the, the um, SBBN 033 was balanced, it wasn't as light as this. It was kind of top heavy. But being at the fact they make a custom bracelet for this, this watch just won me over as far as all my saturation divers. And this will be the one that I keep. And of course you have the extension on here with lovely ratchet action. See that? It's extension right there built in. And this bracelet is it's just the highlight of the show. I have never gone anywhere with this watch without someone asking me where did you get it, how much, or do you want to sell it. And it's just something that if you can get one of these, go ahead and pull the trigger on this bracelet. I know it's 300 bucks, 310 bucks uh, worldwide shipping for this bracelet from Supple Parts. And I'll put a link to uh, Supple Parts on here too. But this bracelet is real articulating. It's real articulating. You see that? To be such a heavy bracelet, it's articulating. I'll throw it on the wrist and let you see what it looks like. And of course, it's Destro, so I put it on backwards. Destro, it's on the left-hand drive, Destro style. But once you get this on there, it is a 24 millimeter bracelet and it's super comfortable and it's also ultra light because it's all titanium now if anybody is second judging this bracelet on supper parts go ahead and get this bracelet this is the one you want you can also unscrew these bars and use it with any other strap just like um, just like the regular links so if you just get the links alone, they're about a hundred bucks, hundred and fifteen bucks. But if you get the whole package, it's three hundred dollars, and it's well worth it. So big shout out to Supple Parts for uh, sending this Gen Two one out to me right away. A lot nicer than the than the Gen One, and it's it's really nice. It's just a keeper. So this watch has 180 day power reserve it's a uh, caliber B873 and it's ISO rated it has a screw down crown and it's a 24 millimeter strap like I said you can use any 24 millimeter straps with this after you get the uh, kit from uh, supple parts and you can see on the color it matches just about perfectly see that's the grade 5 titanium just like Citizen used. Now on the Citizen Ecozilla you don't have the door tech uh, coating. You have the more raw natural coating so it really goes together really good. And just to let you know with the Autozilla which is sometimes twice as much as this with collectors the Autozilla uses a Myota 8 thousand series I believe this is a much better movement much more rugged movement and it, it doesn't have the um, flip lock that sticks out uh, three quarters of a mile so this is a much more balanced watch than the Autozilla and I like it a lot better than the Autozilla so you should um, pick one of these up if you can find one um, the stainless steel uh, 
model like this is just something that you can pick up anytime it's no big deal you can pick them up for about 240 bucks but finding tracking down one of these titanium ones is always going to be the better deal especially if we have a smaller wrist my wrist comes in at 7.25 and this is my only uh, mixed gas saturation diver and it's also my favorite diver and it's the Citizen uh, Ecozilla with the Zilla bracelet and this thing is just awesome on the scale of 1 to 10 it's a thousand and awesome and when you do pull down let me tell you 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 do get that little bit of gap space right there that's that's not anything wrong with the watch it's just like that they put an extra little uh, pivot in there so it'll be a little more comfortable because it is a big watch being 48 millimeter watch so it that is normal that's not anything wrong with it it's just like that so my name is Biggie leave a comment tell me how you like the the Ecozilla full titanium full titanium uh, 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 bracelet from the supple parts so I'll talk to you guys later peace and before I go I want to do a loom shot of the Ecozilla bicolor loom that's the loom shot this thing glows all night and Hopefully, you could track one of these titanium leviathans down. You won't regret it. That's it. My name is Big E. God bless. And I'll talk to you guys later.